Hello guys, Darth Balls here. I've uh, got another review for you. A um, couple of figures, some of the uh, latest of the vintage collection. Uh, and two really, really awesome figures. Uh, they are carded, so <clears throat> gonna, I'm not taking them out of the box, so I will be. I will be reviewing them on the card, and card's sort of a big part of it for me, so uh, here we go. Right, it's these two guys. We've got Dr. Everzan and Nominor. First off, <clears throat> I shall show you Dr. Everzan. Really cool, and this is another classic, uh, how has it not been released? Should have been released a long, long time ago, you know, back when... Uh, Back uh, with the original 12 backs, or at least the uh, 21 backs, but uh, amazing, amazing card. It's um, obviously they did Ponda Baba, and um, obviously he had more of a, a sort of bigger role than than Ponda Baba did, really. So um, don't know why they didn't release them both. It uh, would have been really cool, but it's finally here anyway. So this one is number. 57 of the vintage collection got a nice picture of the uh, the pair of them there and uh, the usual uh, blah -de blah and then some of the figures from the rest of the wave there but the figure itself is stunning um i've saw a fair few reviews there's a lot of good reviews out there of him uh, like loose the actual figure review uh, really well sculpted the face is just superb and um it just looks really really overall looks really really cool would display well out of the box and displays excellent uh, on the card. Card is just perfect for me. Um, the with the what they've done, obviously we just uh, come over here and we've got sort of Ponda Baba and we've got Bon Vimden and um, the way they've sort of done their faces on the cards, that it's sort of I think they've followed it through sort of the same um, with all of the Cantina patrons. So I really like that um, that sort of straight on kind of straight on shot of um, of him. It's got the sort of manky side of his face. Um, obviously, he's got his blaster uh, drawn, ready sort of uh, for action when uh, I guess when it kicks off between them and uh, and Obi Wan. So really, really cool picture. Looks really vintage, really authentic, and it's one of those ones you could imagine would have been you know on an original back. But overall, just. Amazing! I've been after that for ages. I've saw it on eBay. Been, yeah, you know, I'm in an iron about actually buying it, but um, I held out and found it my local forbidden. So I saved myself a bundle there because I've been seeing it going for about twenty quid. I've got it for a standard sort of tenner. So awesome! And on to the next one, which is nominal. Um, another badass um, expanded universe character. As you guys know, I love my expanded universe stuff and. I love the use on Vong. They're so cool, um, such an amazing species. And he, his actual first appearance was in um, was in Crimson Empire. Uh, I believe it's in Crimson Empire two. And um, you do see him. He sort of comes and goes in the comic, really mysterious. So he's sowing the seeds for the, uh, I guess for the uh, for the invasion that occurs years later. Um, and. Obviously, he uh, he plays a main role in the uh, New Jedi Order novels. He's the, uh, what I think he's the Yuzan Vong Executor or something. Um, so really cool. Um, I've not read him in a long while, else uh, else I could have give you a bit gave you a bit more information. But um, it's a badass nonetheless, um, and they are well worth reading if you really like reading your novels. So figure excellent, looks really cool. Um, bit of a different sort of interpretation. I would have. Like that, I, I thought that I'd have been seeing of him in figure form, but he looks really cool. I've saw some reviews, and um, the cloak and hood, like the soft goods, don't look amazing, but without them, he looks pretty badass. Um, this is the second Yuuzhan on Vong figure ever released. Uh, that was the first one. It was in a comic pack with Carl Tom from uh, the Tales comics, I think. So uh, I do want to get a second so I can display them together. Really. Um, this one's VC59, so I believe they're both from the same wave, um, they are like, it was like the missing wave that uh, should have been released ages ago. And that's a picture of him from the um, from the Crimson Empire 2 comic book. 
and the yeah, again the other figures from the wave the image on the card back is really cool um i don't know where this image is from i guess it's just a sort of made up image that they they've done themselves specifically for the card back so I've, i can't remember ever seeing this image of uh of nominal um and i find it a little bit weird how it's, it's really skeletal there um really uh I don't know, I just, I've never seen, I've saw different images and interpretations of him, and I just, I don't know, it just looks a little bit too skeletal, it genuinely does look like that's just his skull, whereas the, um, the Yuuzhan Vong sort of, to their gods, like, make these sort of self-sacrifice and, and sort of hurt, that like, mutilate themselves, um, and thrive off of the pain, and... I would have preferred to see sort of skin, but more just sort of, I don't know, skin and rotted away, sort of been chipped and chopped away, and it's gone all gammy, but it's still really cool, and absolutely buzzing, yet again, mega expensive figure um, to get online, I've seen some stupid prices for him, but found him in Forbidden, my mate bought him, I was dead gutted, but um, he actually gave it to me uh, for my birthday, so I was absolutely uh, buzzing about that, so cheers man. But there we go, anyway, that's my two latest um, carded figures. Uh, like I said, I've got a few more bits to uh, bits to review. Uh, so I will be getting around to doing them, but I just thought I'd show you guys for now those. So I um, hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you soon. Thoughts, feedback, comments, always, uh, always appreciated. So see you later, guys.